Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So now I'm explaining the histology of compact bone. So to learn the histology of compact bone, you should be very, very thorough with these keywords like a Haversian system. So what is Haversian system? So this is called the Haversian system, which you can see here. So the Haversian system is is the unit of compact bone, which is called as a ostium. You can say Haversian system or ostium. So these Haversian system consist of a three uh, three main you can say like parts or whatever so the so these haversian system consist of a haversian canal lamella and osteocytes so we should get thorough with these three words like haversian canal lamella and the osteocyte so what is uh, so what is haversian canal you can see here this central bead like structure this central one this is called as a haversian canal which is which is which contains a blood vessels a lymphatic vessels a, and nerves so these haversian system in ls we can see this is the ts of compact bone in longitudinal section of compact bone you can see these are one one haversian canal connects with another haversian canal with some bridge like structures so this structure is called as a walkman's canal so you should remember the point walkman's canal please do remember this word so the walkman's connect connects one haversian canal to another haversian canal so another part is a lamella so what is lamella lamella is the sheet of matrix which is present between so so sheet of matrix you should remember the word the sheet of matrix means the sheets of matrix is called as a lamella so the lamella is of three types uh, that is outer circumferential lamella interstitial lamella and inner circumferential lamella so what is outer circumferential lamella so the outer circumferential lamella is present around the marrow marrow uh, sorry beneath the we need the periosteum so outer circumferential lamella so this is the outer and this outer layer is called as periosteum so beneath this periosteum is called as outer circumferential lamella please you remember this and between these two osteum you can see here it is one osteum and here another is here another osteum is present and between these two osteons uh, osteons or you can say haversian system there is some lamella it means there is some matrix present between these two haversian system and that uh, sheets of matrix uh, we the lamella is called as a interstitial lamella so interstitial lamella so you know what is outer circumferential lamella which is present beneath the periosteum beneath the outer layer outer periosteum we can see outer circumferential lamella and between two osteons or you can say between two haversian systems we can see interstitial lamella and the third type i will say it later and do remember there is one third type of lamella and uh, and osteocytes you can see here this is osteocyte and uh, it is connected with the uh, another osteocyte by fiber like structures so in this is actually the central bead like thing is called as lacuna and in this lacuna we have osteocyte so in this lacuna we have osteocyte and these these lacunas connected with the uh, another lacuna or osteocytes uh, by some fiber like structures so these fiber like structures uh, are called as a uh, canaliculi so do remember canaliculi so canaliculi connects the canaliculi connects the one osteocyte to another osteocyte and what what is the use of this canalicula canalicula is useful in diffusion of nutrients so diffusion of nutrients and metabolites so in between osteocyte and blood capillaries so these canalicula acts as a bridge between the osteocytes and blood capillaries and the these canalicula useful in the transfer of nutrients and metabolites between between blood capillaries and osteocytes so this canalicula useful in the transfer of diffusion of metab metabolites and nutrients uh, between the 
between the osteocytes and blood capillaries so where the blood capillaries are present these blood capillaries are present inside the haversian canal so these canaliculi these are useful in the transfer these are useful in the transfer of uh, metabolites and nutrients uh, from osteocyte into the blood capillaries so into the haversian canal you can remember like this uh. so a thin line that marks the boundary of an osteocyte uh, uh, between and so these membrane so these line uh, you can say that marks the boundaries of uh, two adjacent osteons so here one there is one osteon and adjacent to it there is another osteon so these osteons which are markably appear to us uh, and these lines uh, are called cement line and do remember what is that cement line so these boundaries of osteons are called as cement lines so this is about uh, all about the compact bone and ls or ls and ts of compact bones so the by, by the end of this session you should remember you should remember uh, you should you should know definitely you should know what is a haversian canal and haversian system so you can see here this is endosteum so this is endosteum inner circumferential lamella and interstitial lamella haversian canal outer circumferential lamella and fibrous layer of periosteum and all of that and canaliculi and osteocyte and i think i have explained it so thoroughly so that you can understand all of them so thank you for watching this video if you like this please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and uh, Unde if you understand what is haversian system haversian canal lamella uh, please comment below thank you for watching this video